G'day guys, welcome to my first tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to bypass the acoustic feedback system amplifier. The acoustic feedback system is a two-way self-checking system. The head unit sends sounds such as music to the back speakers. The back speakers listen to the sound with a small microphone that is built into the, mi to the speakers. Then the microphone sends the signals back to the head unit. The head unit then listens to the, to the sound and checks for any impurities and then fixes it. Now you might be wondering why do you need to bypass that acoustic feedback system? It's simple. Because you change the head unit, the microphone will not send signals to the head unit because it is a different one. So what happens is the back speakers will stop working. So this is why you need to bypass it. Now this does not apply for every prelude. I think it only applies for the type S such as mine, but I might be wrong. Alrighty for this um, swap or installation you're gonna need heat gun a soldering gun, some solder, pliers, a uh, flat head screwdriver, um, just a Phillips screwdriver, a socket set, and shrink wrap. Alrighty, firstly you want to remove uh, remove these uh, plastic covers right here, and basically they're just going to have clips like this that you can just go under here, put little uh, little pliers right there like this like that unclip it and then just push it and uh, it should come off quite easily so what you want to do is just remove those bolts with a size 8 socket right, next thing you got to remove is the amplifier and the wires that go onto the speaker and that speaker there as well alright you might need an extension for this off so now what you want to do is just remove this wire right there and the spe speakers should pop just out so these are the old speakers that's the back and the 20 watts pretty old so you got to remove those two things right there and then you got to remove the plug that goes into there so there's a comparison of the old one and the new one the new one is a fusion 310 watt speaker Alrighty, after you've um, got rid of the uh, amplifier and the um, speakers, what you need to do is cut these these wires. Because what, what's going to happen is, so right now these wires, these wires go to the amplifier. What we're going to do is cut them and then reconnect them. So the first wire you want to cut is the blue with yellow stripes and remove the pink one. Alrighty, so I cut all the wires. These are the wires you need to cut. Um, but what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description so you know what exact wires you should cut. What you want to do now is just strip the, the rubber back to the actual wire and uh, reconnect them to the right wire. Right now I'm just going to just connect them like that and just put some um, tape around it so that I can test if the speakers work and if they do work after that I'll solder them and put shrink wrap around them I just hooked them up and then I hooked the speaker up to see if it works and it works fine basically these um, connectors are going to be stuck right there with those red wires going into it so what you want to do is get um, something that you can cut the red wires and then get a set of needle nose pliers and then I don't know if you can actually see it uh, no you can't but there's some metal connectors in there what you gotta do is pull it from the front and you'll get rid of those red connectors that go right there yeah that's what the that's what the connector looks like you just pull it from the front and get rid of them and then you'll be left with these things right here now for the hard part, we're going to have to solder those things and put shrink wrap around them so it's nice and neat. So there it is with the solder. I know it's not very clear, but we soldered it. Now we just got to put the shrimp, sh shrimp, <laughs> the shrimp rack, shrimp rack, the shrink, <laughs> the shrink wrap around it and we'll be fine. So I just put the shrink wrap over it and I'm just going to shrink it. Ugh. 
So I've got this speaker all sorted and we're just inserting it into the hole. Making sure it fits and then connecting it. Just going to give him a bit of a clean now. We had to do a bit of cutting on this thing right here because um, it wouldn't fit so all we had to cut is that part right there and, and now it should fit. Fits perfectly. Those are the 220 watt JVC front ones that we're going to put on. What we did was we had to break this little plastic clip right here so we could get access to those things right there. On the truck. There we go, it's working. Sweet as. That's all bolted up. Now I'm just going to put the. There we go, guys. Sweet as. So that's an easy mod on your car. And, um, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't make it look bad or anything like that. See, it's still uses all the old components and it makes it look stock so yeah thanks for watching <laughs>